I would hope the people who are charged to do this will recognize that our defense spending needs to be threat-based. We need to start is what are the threats we face out there. Secondly, it needs to be prioritized. Things that we don't need anymore, we should cut. Things that are a lower priority, we should think about cutting this. The, the most foolish way to do this would be a 10% across the board cut or a 5% across the board cut because that, that, that does not allow you to fit your military to the threats you face. Peter talked about sometimes you need to invest in order to cut costs. I would elaborate on that by saying three things. One, there are things that actually if you, you can cut them in a way that forces you to reform and actually come up with a force that makes a lot more sense. In the personnel area, I think you can do some cutting that will actually really force you to re-examine the, the personnel system in ways that not only make a better force but also one that will cost you less money. Similarly, um, you can uh, do reforms that are going to drive the process and reduce costs. Acquisition reform is something we need to do. It will give us military equipment that's better sooner, but it also can be less costly. And finally, as we do these costs, we also have to recognize that if we're looking over 10 years, we need to cut things we don't need enough so we actually have money that we can invest in some of those capabilities we know we're going to need. We're going to need better capability to deal with biological weapon threats, with cyber threats. Uh, I think we're going to need more money for special forces and some of these other things. So you know, I think what we ought to try to do and what I hope the folks uh, responsible for this do have seven or eight principles along these lines that they have posted on their their blackboard or in front of their desks that really guide them in this process. So it can be an intelligent process that cuts in a way that drives reform and can actually lead to a more appropriate and, and, and in some sense maybe even a better force than we have now when you look at the threats that we're going to face.